Welcome to IBM Smart Business Development and Test on the IBM Cloud. As a member of the team, I would like to show you just how easy it can be to create an instance on the IBM Smart Business Development and Test on the IBM Cloud. To sign in, I enter my registered IBM ID and password and click Submit. Once I am logged into the IBM Smart Business Development and Test on the IBM Cloud website, I will click on the Control Panel tab. If an instance has not yet been created, then the Control Panel will look like this. From this Instances sub-tab, I can add, view, and manage the instances that I have created. I will click on the Add an Instance to Get Started link. And as we will see, a wizard containing a sequence of panels pops up over the Control Panel window. These panels will guide me through the steps necessary to configure an instance. The Data Center drop-down could have one or more choices. For optimum performance, I will select the Data Center that is geographically closest to the team using this instance. For this demonstration, I will create a quality test environment. I will select the Rational Quality Manager installation. I will click Next to move to the following page. Now we'll configure the image. I will give the image a project name. Let's call it QA Testing 6. Then I will select a server size. Please note, if my project requires extra storage or a fixed IP address, I must create them before I enter this wizard. In the third demo, I will show how to add storage and request a fixed IP address. I will click on the Add Key link in order to create a robust security key pair for my project. I will label this key pair Security Key for QA Testing 6. All instances that I create can use the same key pair, so I could just as easily name this key pair Department 452 Key Pair if everyone in my group will use the same key pair. When I click on the Generate Key button, the system generates a unique security key pair. When the Download Private Key appears, I click on it and a browser-based dialog box pops up, allowing me to save the private key to my computer. It is very important to save my private key now. I must remember to note the location of my private key. This will be the only time I am allowed to download this particular key. I must keep this key in a secure location. If I lose this key, my instance will no longer be accessible. IBM does not retain copies of the private keys. Now, I click on the Close button to return to the Generate New Key pop-up. I click on the Close button to return to the Add Instance wizard. OK, I have now configured the instance. I'm ready to click Next. Depending upon which image I select on the first panel of this wizard, I may see questions specific to the applications contained within that image. Since I selected IBM's Rational Quality Manager, I have RQM and DB2 passwords questions to answer. I click Next. This panel summarizes the selections I have configured. If I see something that is incorrect, I would click the Previous button and update the earlier panels. Everything looks OK to me, so I will click on the Next button, confirming this information. The final question within this wizard is the license agreement. Before creating an instance, I should understand the agreements and attachments. If I have any questions, I would contact my account administrator. I will click the I Agree radio button and then click Submit. The progress indicator will display for a few moments. And then the Add Instance success screen is displayed. We have submitted the request to provision the instance. After I have submitted the first instance for provisioning, the control panel reconfigures itself from the guided layout to a dashboard view showing the status of the instances. The new instance appears in the table and the status column shows us that the instance is now provisioning. The length of time it takes to provision the instance will depend upon both the complexity of the image and server load at the time of the request. Typically, it takes only a few minutes. Within the notifications area, we see the provisioning events as they occur in real time. Also, once the instance is active, we see the details for that instance, including its IP address, host name, operating system, tags, and other important information. Once we have provisioned a successful instance, the status column tells us that it is active, and then the Getting Started area displays. 
Let's scroll down to the lower section of this panel to getting started. This area gives me an overview of the web applications that are included in my instance. I want to log into my IBM Rational Quality Manager, so I click on the link labeled Open Rational Quality Manager. A login window displays for that application. I can then sign into the application using the username and password that I created while configuring my instance. This concludes our demo. For more information about creating instances on the IBM Smart Business Development and Test on the IBM Cloud, please visit the support page and check out our video and documentation libraries. To learn more about IBM and its cloud initiatives, please visit ibm.com cloud. Thank you.